All right, you guys, day two. We're doing Hollywood Studios today. We did get a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance, thanks to this one right here. I tried to get it, and silly me, I had set an alarm on my phone for 7 a.m. right when I was trying to get the boarding pass, so it X'd away the whole thing, but he was able to get it, so it's in like 300 minutes, so it'll, we'll probably get on like, I don't even know, but I'm really excited. Um, are you excited for Rise of the Resistance? Yes, and we're in number eight, which is 66 plus 22, so it's pretty much like order 66. The time has come. Execute order 66. So yeah, so get your kicks on Route 66, okay? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest with you and tell you that my husband bought me the shirt and said I had to wear it, so. I actually like Star Star Wars. He got me to watch some of the movies and stuff. Like I'm not 100%. I'm not like a super fan. Like I don't know everything about the Star Wars universe. I just recently learned that all the movies come out in some random order. Anyway, we're about to have a great day. Um, it'll be our first time on Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway. Well, it'll be his first time doing everything. Yeah, today's about to be another great fun day. So stick around. to Hollywood Studios. We're walking in right now. How you feel? I feel great. Let's go get on some ride and uh, Star Wars and Star Wars and Star Wars. All right, so we're by Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Just kinda, we're walking around and looking for where we're gonna go, but we decided we're gonna go do some of the older rides first because there's not very long lines there. So we're heading over towards Muppet 3D Vision and Star Tours right now. Uh, we have our Rise of the Resistance boarding pass for number 88, but they're still on like eight through 21 or something like that. So definitely be later in the day, but excited for that one. We got the uh, Star Wars shirts on. So gonna head out there. We'll check back with you guys. All right, so we decided to stop by um, Mickey and Minnie's Vacation Fun real quick just because it had such a short line. Have you done this one before? No. Uh, okay. No. So we're going to check this out and see what it's all like, but we just have to wait for the doors to open. So we'll check back in. All right, so we just left uh, Mickey and Minnie's Vacation Fun. It was that so was, cute and funny. It was super cute and super funny, so... We're gonna attach a picture of us at Potato Land. Yeah, I definitely would, uh, would recommend checking it out. Um, so that was fun. Alright, let's move on. Alright, about to go in Star Tours. We just got off Star Tours. It was his first Star Wars ride of the day. How did you like it? It was great. I had a good time. Rated and, one out of ten. Um, I don't know, like a ten. It was really cool. We, I know it changes every time, but we got to fly. We did a pod race on Tatooine. I have then, no clue what that means. Yeah, and we beat Sebulba, and then we went uh, to like 
the beginning fight from episode three, but we ended up on Coruscant driving around and doing flips and turns and stuff. So it was pretty cool. So now we're gonna do Muppets 3D and then uh, check the wait times and see whatever else. Our boarding pass is still for another two hours for Rise of the Resistance. So yeah, we're just gonna vibe and see where the day takes us. We just did Muppets 3D. What do you think? Muppets 3D was good. I've done it before, but it's really good, funny entertaining. I thought it was really cool because they had stuff going on on like every wall in the room because there were real puppets behind you and video in front of you and I saw uh, Muppets before at like a children's museum in Chicago or something like that but it was the 4D version and it wasn't quite as like interactive with all the puppets and stuff but they did like spray air at you and push scents into the room and stuff like that so now we're headed to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. You're going the wrong way. Some pretty cool scenery here at the setup of this theater. Which looks like this. Got some cool stuff. Off up and over there too. But, uh, We'll see what the rest of the standby line is like once we get there. It does say 50 minute wait. This is one of the rides that had a longer wait today. Mickey and Minnie was so cute. It was a great ride. Um, I loved it. I'm gonna ride it again at some point. But we're coming back on the 26th, so I'm looking forward to that and all the other rides we're doing today. Yeah, it was definitely worth the wait. Now we're gonna get some ice cream on the way to uh, 
the Rise of the Resistance because our boarding is in about 70 minutes so we're going to stop by ABC Commissary, get something to eat, head over that way and we'll check back in with you. Snacks and drinks. Yep. So we're outside of ABC Commissary here. Raven ran in and uh, got the uh, caramel apple tart which looked pretty good. She was also going to get another j a drink from there but they didn't have it so um, and then we're going to head over to Epic Eats and get some ice cream before we board Rise of the Resistance. Super excited for that. Wearing my Mandalorian crest shirt. Got my the Mandalorian ring on. Just uh, super excited for that ride. Huge Star Wars fan, huge Mandalorian fan. So, uh, should be great. And as she's inside picking up that caramel apple tart, I'm over here at ABC Commissary. They got all these little uh, billboards up for different shows they have, and one of them is for Blackish. And I was just going to say how if you guys either are like me and don't ever watch cable TV or if you've never seen that show, they've got a great Disneyland episode about having fast passes and chaos. So y'all should check that out. This is the caramel apple tart. She just got out with it. So super exciting. Looks pretty good. So basically it's caramel apple tart made out of salted caramel mousse, cheesecake on the bottom, and then the inside has like apple pie filling. And this is the root beer flow from Epic Eats. Where are we? Galaxy's Edge. We made it. Our boarding time is coming up pretty soon, so we're just going to chill over here and see what it's about. That's some pretty cool scenery. There's a Coca-Cola cart. Pretty sick. That thing is making all kinds of noise, the antenna. There's a little bit of a queue over there. So we're not going to ride that yet. All perimeter doors checked on to regeneration for energy sink. Power cells on shorting. So, yeah. Everything here is, is kind of interactive. There's that, which you can make steam. I saw from someone's video before. I'm not sure which ones are all interactive or not, but I know the X-Wing is, and I know there's some kind of transmission tower somewhere. So we'll have to figure out that stuff. I don't even know how to get to that part of the app, but we'll figure it out today. And there's just like all kinds of droid noises and stuff. And I actually think like the, I don't know if those are real bugs or not, but it adds to the ambience of the area, those little bug noises. Don't say the word bug to me. Let's stop at one of these carts. I gotta get a diet coat. How you doing? Uh, can I get a, just a diet coat? Got the little diet coke thing here so that's pretty pretty cool these vehicles look pretty cool here's one of the crashes tastes different in Watsu no it's still nasty diet coke yeah. there's so many cool noises and our boarding group's in 30 minutes. Awesome. There is Kylo Ren's ship. Look at that. That is bigger than it looks in YouTube videos. These mountains are nice and bigger. in the queue here waiting for the ride so that'll be pretty fun can't wait
Did you uh, study those plans? No, nope, of course. We need to know what to do. Well, I'm in big trouble.
Tell me the location of the secret base. Never! And then I will destroy you and the resistance. It's immersive from the moment you get in the queue. You feel like you're really in Star Wars. I mean, really, Batu is like that in general, but especially like you get in that queue for that ride and it just keeps going and going and going. And then the ride was just crazy. It was totally worth it. I really think today is the last day that they're doing the virtual queues. It's going to be a little hectic. Yeah, it's going to be really long. So but if you haven't rode it yet, try to get to the park should. early or get you a lightning lane pass. So you can ride it because it's worth it. You should definitely ride it. And I'm all for these trackless rides like Mickey and Minnie's and that one. It just, it's, uh, you don't know what's coming. So it's just really exciting. dog dash which was like really fun yeah it was fun it was uh, more intense than i expected based off the videos i could tell you... that it was intense when we were in line but yeah it was fun. yeah was you go like straight sideways so now we're at aliens swirling, swirling. sausage, sausage. Now eating in the sauna. We're about to do alien swirling saucers, so here we go. Any second now. One eternity later. <laughs> I didn't know they'd be bumping into each other. <laughs> like the track bumps into the track. And it feels like you're getting hit by somebody. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty much our day. We did uh, Mickey and Minnie again, and we did uh, Star Tours again. Um, we got the same Mickey and Minnie, but we got a slightly different Star Tours, so it was pretty cool. But how did you feel the day went? That day was perfect. Um, the only ride we didn't get to do was Rock and Roller Coaster, but we're coming back on, I don't even know what day it is. We're coming back on 26. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna ride it, so, but today was a great day. I'm completely satisfied. Damn. We've only been here for two days so far in Orlando. Don't owe me nothing, but uh, yeah, tomorrow we're doing Epcot. We're gonna call it a night, go home and rest up for Epcot tomorrow, and yeah. Alright, so check back in with us for that.